So there's a popular young lady on YouTube who goes by the name of Cass. Now her channel has grown very quickly due to the success of her testimony video. So what I'd like to do is go ahead and review her most recent upload and discuss whether or not she's right or wrong. So let's go ahead and watch the clip and then I'll give my take after. Hello family, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are tuning in from. I just wanted to get on and talk a little bit about Jesus. Um, first things first, how amazing is it about how simple and easy it is to be saved? He, God made it so easy to be saved, it's as easy as ABC. So let's talk about the ABCs of salvation. One, no, A, admit that you're a sinner in need of a savior. Um, B, believe in your heart that Jesus died on the cross, was buried and resurrected. And C, confess that Jesus is Lord and choose to allow God in your life. That's it. And people are like, oh, that's too easy. It can't be that easy. It is. It doesn't require anything else. It doesn't require a baptism. You're baptized by the Holy Spirit when you believe. Although I, I do think, um, for me personally, I wanted to get baptized um, just because of how crazy my past was and how much of an atheist I was. So I felt like it was needed for me to publicly declare my, my new faith, my new new creation in Christ. Um, so I did that in the ocean by my house, uh, which was amazing, but it's not required. So don't beat yourself up if you think that it is, it's not. Um, just if you wanna publicly declare that you love our Lord, then go ahead. So first off, it brings me to joy that this young lady has a zeal and passion for Christ and to see sinners saved. But one of the problems with YouTube is that anyone can start a channel and begin influencing masses of people in the wrong way. So let's deal with the question here. The question is, is salvation easy? Is salvation easy? So easy a caveman can do it? You remember those commercials? That's what I thought about when I was watching her video. So is salvation easy? What's the answer? The answer is, it's easy for God. It's not easy for you. This whole ideology behind easy believism, three steps to Jesus, one, two, three, you're saved. It's not only wrong, it's dangerous. And I'm going to explain to you why salvation is not easy. The reason salvation is not easy for us as sinners is because salvation is not just one singular day in the history of your life. Now don't get me wrong, there is a particular day in which the Lord saves his elect, but, the, but it doesn't stop there. It's not just that day, okay? Because we are both saved and we are both being saved. 1 Corinthians 15, 2. This is about lifelong sanctification, and here's a kicker. It's hard. It's very hard. You ask any true Christian about their life before Christ and their life after. Ask them which was harder, okay? And if they are truly born again, they'll say that their life before Christ was much easier. And why was that? Because before Christ, we were slaves to sin. We had no relationship to Jesus Christ. We had no Holy Spirit that convicted us of our sin. We were free to drink down our iniquity like water. When a sinner is saved, the war begins. Let me say that again. When a sinner is saved, the war begins. The battle against the flesh starts. And it's hard. I fight personally. I fight every single day. Guarding my eyes, my thoughts, my speech, my fleshly desires. I'm at war. And so are you if you are a true Christian. And no, that's not easy. So my hope is that this young lady continues to grow in Christ, but also to understand, having over 12,000 subscribers, the actual influence that she has and that she will be judged for it on the day of judgment. So be very careful in what you teach and how you do it. And since salvation is more about than anything else, the declaration of God's power to the universe, you can be assured that if God has saved a person, He has changed that person in the very core of their being, and He will continue working in that person to bring about sanctification and conformity to Christ. That is why it is absolutely absurd to believe that a man can be Christian and not be changed. And not only not be changed, but have his course set by the hand of God so that throughout all the days of his life, he continues to change. Now, albeit, I will give it to you, that the Christian life is not necessarily a continual rise. But there is 
growth and setback and growth and struggle. But throughout the full course of the Christian life, you will see the man being transformed and changed. Because the God who began a good work in him will finish it.